talk now about the new uh, EV3 ultrasonic sensor. As you can see, it's very similar in form factor to what we had with the NXT sensor, but we've made some uh, considerable improvements to this sensor in both form and function. I want to point out first, obviously, the cross hole that we have at the bottom that we've added to all of the sensors, which make for a very easy mounting point there. We also can build around frames uh, with this on either side of the connection point. But we've also added some very uh, exciting connection points on the back, which allow a, an additional option for mounting a, a very secure connection on either side of that sensor, um, which should be an, a considerable improvement in the way that we can uh, build and use this into our robot. Now let's talk about the actual function because this is another sensor we've uh, considerably enhanced with um, the actual function of the sensor itself. We have now an alternate mode. We can do a listening mode with this that will allow us to actually use this in conjunction with uh, additional ultrasonic sensors where we can actually just listen for signal from another sensor. Another enhancement that we've added is the fact that now we have visual indicators on the front that will light up and tell us not only if the sensor is actually working, but also the mode that it is working in. So we will be able to visually tell if our sensor is functioning the way that we want it to on a robot. And the last but uh, certainly not least enhancement that we've done is the fact that we've increased the precision of this in the way that it actually will, will measure distance and the resolution it will measure that distance in. So this is an exciting enhancement that we've added to the EV3 sensor lineup.